الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القران العظيم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كنتم خير امه اخرجت للناس تامرون بالمعروف وتنهون عن المنكر وتؤمنون بالله صدق الله العظيم All praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We glorify Him and we thank Him for His blessings and favors upon us. I testify that there is none to be worshipped but Allah. He is alone and He has no partner. And I testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is His servant and final messenger. Ibadallah, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us of our status in the Qur'an. He, he reminds us of uh, the prestige and honor bestowed upon those who enjoin right in their forbid evil and they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Qur'an, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat dinas. You are the best of people evolved for mankind. Why? What are your qualities? What makes you the best? Ta'muruna bil ma'aruf wa tanhawna nil munkar wa tu'minuna billah. You enjoin right and you forbid evil. And you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have faith. You put your trust in your Creator. This is what makes us the best of Allah's creation. When we deviate from this, we become just like other people. When we do not believe and we are not enjoining right and forbid in evil, we are just like everyone else. But we raise in status, we become the best when we demonstrate in our lives that which is right. We practice it. And what is wrong, we stay away from it. And we strive every moment, not just to say that we believe that there is faith in our hearts, but uh, we demonstrate the faith with our limbs. For Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لَيْسَ الْإِيمَانِ بِالْتَمَنِّي وَلَكِنْ مَا وَقَرَ فِي الْقَلْبِ وَصَدَّقَهُ وَالْعَمَلِ Iman is not a mere wish or hope, but Iman is that which is registered in the heart, and it is being approved by the limbs of the body. Today, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, let us always look at things in a very optimistic way. Look at life in this way. You know, the world will tell you, and we have seen it, about Muslims and uh, they are a backward set of people. They do things that are not uh, um, in line with contemporary societies. They do things that are for ages ago and not for present time. Don't make anyone mislead you. Don't make anyone think that you, make you think that you are insignificant. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, the Muslims, Allah has given them that prestige and honor. 
ولل ولله العزة ولرسوله وللمؤمنين. Allah says in the Quran, and to Allah belongs prestige and honor. And to his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and to the believers. And so, at no time in our lives should we make people belittle us and think that we are not of that status that Allah has bestowed upon us. We see in the world today that people who had said so much negative things about Islam in terms of our practices, in terms of the things that we do on a daily basis, that they themselves are practicing those things today. And that makes us happy, proud, to know that we did not give up on the very basic things that Islam teaches us. We continue to practice them, and that's what life is all about. That's what this deen teaches us, that it doesn't matter what other people think. It is what you do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And people may think different things about you. They see our sisters walking in the street with their niqab or with their hijab and they insult them. And they say things to them in a very derogatory way. Today we don't know who is Muslim and who is not Muslim in terms of the way the women walk on the street. Because they are all covered and they are all wearing masks. Islam taught us about cleanliness and, and, and people wonder why these Muslims have to wash themselves uh, f five times per day. And we see that they are washing themselves today more than five times per day. Because we are being told that every time you go outside and you come back, wash your hands. And we say after we make wudu, Allahumma ja'alni min tawwabin wa ja'alni min al Oh Allah, make me from among those who turn to you in repentance. So we, we, we look at cleanliness not only outwardly, we look at it inwardly also that we may make mistakes, we may harbor the enmity and hatred, and, and we may do things wrong to people. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us those who will constantly turn to Him and repent for our mistakes. But we also ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَجَعَلْنِي مِنَ الْمُتَّطَحِّرِينَ And oh Allah, make me from among those who are pure. That's, that, that's the whole concept. When we make wudu, it's not only washing off the dirt from our hands and our faces and our feet and other parts, but it's also removing any evil or any wrong that we have done from the various parts of our bodies, whether it is internally or externally. Uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he tells us, at tuhur shatrul iman. Cleanliness, it is half of faith. And that is why we focus so much on, on being clean in terms of our bodies, in terms of the place, our places of worship, in terms of our clothing, in terms of everything. You know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he even taught us that when you go to bed at night and you wake up in the morning, that the first thing that you do, that you wash your hands because you don't know where your hands slept or where your hands went while you were asleep. That, that's, that's the beauty of this deen of Islam. That's the beauty of being Muslims. It takes time, but when we practice and we do the right thing, we see gradually 
that people will, will accept it. We see gradually that people will, will understand why these things are being done. Europe, they had banned burqa. They had banned, you know, women walking in the streets with uh, their faces covered, wearing the niqab. And in some places in Europe, they're making it mandatory that they wear it. That's what the world has to become. So always remember that if you enjoin right and you forbid evil and you sincerely believe you have a prestigious position with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't make anyone take that away from you. And the more you demonstrate that, the more we will be able to change this world that we live in. If we become like other people, then there will be no changes. So my dear brothers and my dear sisters, as we live life in these unprecedented times, let us not lose hope of the help, the rahmah, the mercy, the compassion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا تَقْنَتُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ And do not lose hope in the mercy and compassion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is always with the believers when they are form and they do what Allah has commanded them to do. And as we do or as we follow the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will continue to see changes in the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always help us to recognize that we have a prestigious position with Him so long as we enjoy right and we forbid evil and we sincerely believe in Him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us, may He protect us, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe at all times. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين المؤمنات من كل ذنب فاستغفرون إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه أجمعين رضوان الله عليهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد my dear brothers and my dear sisters Allah سبحانه وتعالى has bestowed upon us many blessings and he says in the Quran, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا And if you were to try to count the blessings and favors of Allah upon yourselves, you will never be able to count them. The greatest of blessings that we have been given is that Allah has guided us to Al-Islam. He's made us Muslims, people who submit their lives to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But among the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us, as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, نِعْمَتَانْ مَغْبُونٌ فِيهِمَا كَثِيرٌ مِّنَ النَّاسِ أَسِّحَّةُ وَالْفَرَاغُ there are two ni'mah or two bounties that Allah has bestowed upon His creation. But many people, when it comes to these two bounties, they are shoe losers. The first one he said, as health. 
Allah has given us health. We, we are healthy. There are so many who are sick. And the things that they would like to do in life, they can do it. There are many who were sick in this time of coronavirus and they expired. They returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This health that Allah has given unto us, we need to value it, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. And if it means that uh, we have to wear a mask and we have to wash our hands and we have to stay, stay six feet apart and we have to do all the things that the CDC has told us to do, we need to do it so that we protect what Allah has bestowed upon us. If you know that this is a way for you to remain healthy and you are ignoring the things that you ought to do, then you are telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I do not value what you have given to me. And we see so many in the world who do not really value what has been given to them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They ignore everything and think that I am healthy because of me. You are not healthy because of you, you are healthy because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so do not at any time take what Allah has given to you for granted. And so we need to protect ourselves and to protect others. That's why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that uh, a Muslim is one who does not bring harm to himself and he does not cause harm to others. So as much as we may think that we are okay, we need to think about other people. And, and we do not in any way need to bring harm to them and to ourselves. The other bounty that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he mentioned is time. You know, we, we, we are living in a very fast-paced world where people don't have, sometimes, they don't have regard for the time that Allah has blessed them with. And so, if we were to look at what has happened in the last three months or so, the fastness of life and it's the pace that we were going, we were slowed down so that we can reflect and we can think about what Allah has blessed us with. What, what did we really use this time for? Alhamdulillah, Muslims reflected and Muslims, other people too, they were able to spend more time with their families. But I say Muslims because in Ramadan, look at what you did in terms of your families, in terms of praying together, fasting together, breaking the fast, eating together, doing things as a family, how often people were able to do that. Allah has blessed us with time. Let us show gratitude for the time that Allah has given unto us. And so my dear brothers and my dear sisters, it is not a time to lose hope. It is a time for us to reflect upon the bounties and favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to give thanks for them, show our gratitude. It is a time for us to be optimistic and to always reflect that upon life and death that we are here now and tomorrow we may not be here. So we need to always prepare ourselves for our return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us, guide us, and give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter. And may he save us from the term in Tahir May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe and healthy 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from all calamities. Laqad amarana Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi al-Qur'an al-Azim haythu qal Inna Allah wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala al-Nabi Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu sallu wa alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli wa sallim ala abdika wa rasulika Muhammad Wa arda Allahumman khulafaihi ala arba Abi Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Alim Wa nisittati al-baqin al-mubashirin bil-jannah Wa nisairi al-sahaba Wa nitabi'ina wa man tabi'hum bisani la yawmi الدين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الإيمان وثبت قلوبنا على دين الإسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غل للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي ذكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله على نعمه واشكروه على آلائه ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون قم السلام